Now this is the real place. This is one of the original buildings, right? Yeah. This is, is one story from a great American saga about how the vast, productive territory of the Dakotas and Nebraska became woven into the American fabric. The Homestead Act was a dream come true for people like Frank Soko. And for Frank's great-grandson Tom and his wife Linda, it's the very foundation of their farm, their family, their way of life. Linda is the family historian. Frank came from a part of Czechoslovakia. He was a professional soldier. Frank Sokup joined a growing stream of Czechs heading into the Dakota Territory. He built a farm, became a citizen, and earned his land. But Tom and Linda's story really begins with one of his six sons, Joe. Joe Sokup and his wife Mary established his own homestead under the Homestead Act, 160 acres near Wagner, South Dakota. He handed down the homestead to my father. In return, my father handed it down to me. And in the process, after we're gone, it's going to be handed down to one of my descendants. When my, my father took the homestead over, it was 160 acres. Well, he grew it to 380 acres. And, well, and I grew it to, I think, 1140 acres. And that's where the old barn used to sit there where that building was. All the history came together in 1996 when Joe and Mary Sokup's old homestead became the site of one of the most remarkable family reunions ever seen in Wagner. And he's got cousins in Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Arizona. They came from all over the country. The governor declared a Sokup Homestead Day. One of the offertory gifts was the old leather boots that Grandpa Joe wore when he broke the sod out there. And I think that's the key to it. The land was their opportunity for life in this country. Frank and Joe took up the of what farming has become in South Dakota and how Tom and Linda have transformed their hard-won land. While daughter Becky and the new generation of Sokups gradually take charge of the homestead farm, Tom and Linda live in a spacious new home they built near downtown Wagner. It's a virtual museum of their homestead history. Kids gave this to us for an anniversary present, a 40th anniversary present. They had that engraved in there. And I was just kidding the kids. They saved themselves a lot of money in the future because they won't have to buy our tombstone after we pass away. Everybody thinks they have a hard time of it. And you want to make everything better for the next generation. And we're doing the same for our children now. And I, we expect them to do the same for theirs. Faith and family. It's always been important to us. How long were those tough-minded farmers winning their land through the Homesteading Act? Surprisingly, up to 1935. That's when suitable federal lands finally ran out. Although the Homestead Act wasn't repealed until 1976. The exception, Alaska. Although federal lands closed in the late 1980s, the state has from time to time opened some lands to homesteaders since then.